What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are back in TPRR. They have released a bunch of brand new updates, including new characters, including a brand new OC creator. So today, I'm going to check out all the updates and show them off to you guys so you can come in and check them out for yourselves. So first, let's go over all the new changes. Brand new OC creator, new characters. This looks like a don't hug me i'm scared puppet i don't know what happened to the cloud either uh new character render or new character creator tons of new original characters props and more this is a christmas gift you won't forget the oc creator update is finally here this looks so good it looks so updated compared to the original the original had all these small letters over here i mean i'm old so i couldn't see it but this looks crazy. It looks so identical to the Pizzeria Builder as well. And unfortunately, I can't get this one to load. But Christmas present is a time for childlike wonder. But the spirits of Christmas past still wonder these deck wander these decked halls, introducing the Lucids. Explore a whiz whimsical new winter skin for security breach. Oh, look at Monty. Wait, is that a Monty statue or is that him? Oh boy. But that's not all. Also introducing a fully original set of characters, the Ravids. Oh, look at those. Are, what is this thing? We have Lilith. We have uh, Edison. Uh, Pi, Pythagoras. Pythagoras, right? Is that a Transformer? What is that? The Ravids. Paranormal Anomaly Cleanup Task Force. That is so cool looking. And we hope you enjoy this massive Christmas update. All right, here we go. We couldn't really see what those other ones were, but I am really excited. So we're going to start with all the new characters first. Let me go buy them. And then we'll finish off the video with the OC creator. So this video might be a little bit longer than usual. Here's all the new ones. Uh, so we're going to first. I can't say it. Gingerbread man. I can say it. I can say it. Let's just go to the winter map, okay? Let's just go to the winter map. But if you want to make sure you get the winter map, make sure you uh, create a server. Go in here and glamour rock in the Christmas tree. I didn't even say that right. What's wrong with me? I'm losing my mind. Then equip it. Make sure you equip it so you can actually go to it, go back, make sure it says it, and then create server. Oh, it's about to start. We didn't even get our free gift today. What am I doing? Give me my tickets. Yeah, one ticket, 15 tickets. Thank you, sir. And now let's keep going. I do want to see the updated map because this all looks normal. Where's the Krimbus? Oh, here it is. Here's the Krimbus. I found it. Don't worry, everyone. Oh, look at this. We got snow forts out here as well. Can you actually... Oh, wow. We have a giant Christmas tree. Very, very nice. I like it a lot. Oh, big candy canes and everything, too. Very good map. I know they've added this a while ago. At least I'm pretty sure. But uh, I think the last time I did the update, it didn't load for me. Or maybe I did go into this part of the map. I don't remember. But anyway, we're going to start with Pythagoras. I don't know why I have to say it syllabled out or else I won't be able to say it. Uh, so we have a transform. Oh, that's cool. You move so slow. Why is he so? Why is he driving so slow? Oh, it's wearing the snow. That makes sense. Oh, no. You just drive slow for added coolness. He's just showing off his cool bike. Yeah, I have a cool motorcycle. Who else has a cool motorcycle? No one. Oh, wait. You can activate maximum overdrive. There we go. Then you can park it and get off it. We can throw a punch. We can toggle spite wings. What is this? Why do you have a motorcycle if you could fly with your wings? Uh, then we can suit up. Oh my god. We can take off his coat of spite. Uh, no coat. Wait, isn't that the same thing? I don't know. What happened to his hands? 
What is this guy? Is he just all spite? Oh, now he's got the tendrils. There we go. Then we can have spike claws. I don't think this guy's fully human, not gonna lie. Spike clubs? He's like a Sonic villain. Spite less? Oh, no, we want to spite more. Yeah, that's spite just enough for me. And then animations. He could do all the, you know, the normal human ones. And then for sounds, possession hack. Oh, my God. Is this Cyberpunk 2077? Oh, there's the statue of Monty. I knew I'd find it. Monty. Monty, let me up. I wonder if you get a, a trophy for climbing up them, or an achievement, or whatever it's called. Where's my badge, video game? Next up is Lilith and Agony Fiend. Uh, this one starts out on her motorcycle, or her giant monster thing. Look at that, look how detailed it is. This looks like that creature from uh, Flumpties, but just mutated and more evil looking. Has just lava spilling out of its gut too. Wow, this looks like cyberpunk if they fuse with Monster Hunter. So we can transform and dismount the fiend. It waits and it follows you. No way. What is this game turning into? This is so cool. We could toggle gas mask, but it looks just too cool. You don't want to take that off. Uh, player scan and transform. Oh, I thought it was going to turn into me riding the mount. Sigh. But out in the mount, you can sprint, player scan, pick a suit. Oh, you can just become this. You can get rid of Lilith completely. I am the fiend now. This is how I look. I wonder if you can play, like, bowling and stuff as the fiend. Yes. Yes. Oh, wait a second. This game is actually the best game on Roblox. I love it. All right, let's make sure I didn't miss any abilities. Uh, we can... Oh, wait. We did that. Come back. All right. Okay. Stop. And then we can toggle particle. Oh, we can turn off the lava that's out of his belly. But, I mean, why Why would you? Why would you? Then, for animations... Wait, could... Why can he perform? Why would he ever want to perform? Oh, he's hiding his embarrassment. You don't have to be embarrassed. Uh, don't do that. We could crawl. I'm in a secret stealth mission. They'll never find me. Because I'm crawling, you see. Uh, oh, look. Fiend sneak. And then pet fiend. <gasps> Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? That is a really cool animation. I like that a lot. And then sounds we could growl. Oh. We could, oh god stop stop we could breathe oh oh we could scream yeah that's what i'm talking about that almost sounded uh fnaf jump scary a little bit next up we have edison's hollow suit he is the last of the three of the oh no i forget their names already oh no i'm so sorry but he is the last of the three of that group also, this design's really cool as well. It's like a like a a transformer or just a big robot fighter. Uh, also, it looks very bear-like. We have face plates. <gasps> it was me. Is this an Iron Man suit? Is this the Hulk breaker? Uh, we could close the face plates. We could exit the suit. Oh, my suit has malfunctioned. Oh, he is like Iron Man. He's Tony Stark. Look at him. We can't toggle shield. Oh my god, he is. Wait, he actually is just Iron Man. What in the world? Uh, that I can wall in? Yeah, I'm Iron Man. So what? Call me Edison. And then we can go back into the suit. And now we have a suit up. We have a shoulder shield. We have an arm shield. Oh my god, can we just shield our entire self? That is so awesome. This game, this game has gotten crazy. Imagining, imagine playing TPR when it first came out and then playing it, and like, I don't know, not playing it for years, then playing it now. 
Imagine how shook you must be. It has changed so much in a good way, too. It's crazy. And then we have a sprint. Activate turbo boosters. Uh, we have a player scan, and we can toggle particles. But, I mean, they just look so cool. Why would you Why would you turn them off? And then we have... Why does he crawl like that? Why do you crawl like that, man? We have a perform. Oh, is he going to do the robot? Do the robot. Do the robot. We have a deactivate. We have stand spin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, Edison. I'm so sorry. Oh, he's getting sick. Look at him. He's getting sick. All right, I'm sorry. I'll stop. Next up is Wally, all grown up, the Lucid Robot. And funnily enough, it starts us in DJ Man's room. Also, what imagery is it showing us on here? I feel like I'm being tortured right now. What is this? The numbers, Mason. The numbers, what do they mean? All right, well, that's pretty cool, whatever's going on on there. Uh, I saw some flashing imagery of like Afton Robotics, or at least Freddy Fazbear's head. Do the robot, do the robot. Oh, okay. Do the stand spin. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we can transform into dream, dream Mike. Oh, I thought I said dream Mike. Oh, it is, it's Mike's robot from his room. What? Wait, so was that Caterpillar from his room as well? And the phone too. Oh my God, they are, they gotta be. If they added the robot, they added those two as well. Could add the wrench to his head too. What in the world, can this thing do stuff? Very barely, very barely. We can transform it back into the robot and then we can transform it. Oh wait, no, I think it just goes into that robot, the smaller one. We can throw a punch, the claw. We have a suit up, skull screen. Uh, no, no thank you. No skull screen, no thank you. Blank screen? No, it's gotta have something on it. Just not a terrifying skull. Memory bank? Oh, what is this? What is that, huh? What is this I'm seeing? What is that one semi-invisible square? I can't believe this. No, I'm totally kidding. This looks amazing, by the way. Very, very cool. I love all the detail in all these as well. Then unsuited, also the detail of this thing alone. All the wires, all the different TVs, the big claw. Very nice. All right, let's keep on moving through though. We still have a ton of animatronics left and we still have the OC creator left. So I mean, we gotta keep moving. So here's the Lucid phone. It is held up by a puppet uh, thing, puppet strings. I don't know if I was correct anymore. There is a mask under it. You can see the teeth. What is this? Why is it making squishing sounds? What is happening? Oh, it does transform. What is this? I mean, that's the head of the phone in Mike's room. But that's not how it always looked, is it? Wait, I got to take a call. Hello? 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 It's me, the toy phone. I like the way its mouth and uh, nose are moving too. What in the world? We can lunge as well. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I think this might be kind of more terrifying than the other one. Uh, what can you do? Oh no, these aren't meant for you. We can sprint and we can transform back into this guy. Oh, he has a speaker in his mouth. That doesn't belong there. We can sprint again. We can pick a suit, props. Oh, look at it, we got a wrench, we got a clipboard, uh, a screwdriver, and a cassette player. Why do we have those things? Why do we have those things, huh? And minion spawn. Oh, I can spawn evil phones around the place. What in the world? So I guess, my, I was right, it is the phone from Mike's room as it was the robot from his room from FNAF 4. So then the caterpillar has to be as well. What does it mean? The numbers, what do they mean? What did you do to this thing? Why is it so lumpy? Why is it so hairy and squishy and, oh, the arms. 
Why is this thing? How is this thing? When and where is this thing? Uh, we can spawn tentacles. That's good. That's what we should do. We can ceiling. Oh no! You're gonna give people nightmares. You're absolutely gonna give children nightmares for seeing this thing now. Oh no! We can transform. Oh, this is him. This is the thing from, uh, don't hug me, I'm scared. Why does it jump like that? It jumps like it's ready to pounce on someone. It's winding up a slap too. It's gonna destroy them, give them a concussion with this giant slap. All right. Oh, I could disable the smoke. Uh, so for this thing, we can toggle the pencil on its head. We can ceiling crawl as well. And then we can transform back. We have a honk. Very nice. And then we can turn into the creature and uh, we can, hey, uh, why does it have a baby giggle on the baby crying sound? Can we, uh, can we chat about that for a minute or is that not something y'all want to talk about? Or, uh, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I don't, it's fine. It's, it, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'm just going to move on to the next character. It's, it's, uh, it's okay. Oh my God. I didn't really see it when I became it, but these are all mouths. These are all mouths underneath it. No, oh my god. That, there's a mouth there under its, its beaks. I don't even know what those are. It's stingers, it's teeth, I don't know. There's a mouth there and there and there. They're all drooling. All right, I'm done. Hey, Glam Frost Freddy, my favorite. Let's go. Yay. We're back to normalcy in this house. Finally. Why has he got a Duracell battery in his mouth? We have face plates or chest plates. Oh no. I don't think Gregory wants to sit in there anymore, bud. I don't think he physically can. Oh, no. Apparently, he can. It's fine. Freddy, get up. You're embarrassing me. Then we have a... Oh, I almost did the same thing. We can pick a suit. Upgraded. Oh, he's got all the upgrades from the other animatronics as the Frost... Or Glam Frost form. Very nice. Let's go back to normal. And then we can have someone enter the tour cell. We can throw a punch and player scan. And then we have all these abilities as well. Oh, wait, what's that? The glam rock wave. Very nice. And then for sounds, we have all the classic glam rock Freddy ones. Oh. Yeah. Classic glam rock Freddy. Next up on the glam frost list is Monty. I really like the design. It looks like he's wearing an ice crown on his head. Uh, then his shoulder pads are like more pointy as well he's got ice spikes all over him he's all different shades of blue we have chest plates as well oh his aren't as dangerous to enter now we have a punch we have <laughs> nice punch effect and we can have players enter our torso and then for sounds we can yell in pain uh we can laugh I feel like I'm telling a story with these uh, these effects. And then we can scream. Yeah, classic, classic Monty. He's laughing, he's banging, he's yelling in pain. Just classic Monty. Oh, what are you gonna do with them, you know? I think out of all three of them so far, hers might be the most worrisome. Because it looks like she froze to death and she was crying and like drooling as she did it. I mean, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but those look like tears coming out of her eyes. Uh, so she froze to death and she did not have a good time about it. Uh, we can sprint as Glam Frost Chica. She's very fast. We can uh, toggle drowned head. Oh, there you go. Drowned? She drowned in her tears? Wait, all right. Uh, did someone drown her? This is adding so much more to the story. Toggle dress. Okay. I didn't really think about that one before I pressed the button. I probably should have thought about that for a few more seconds. Uh, but anyway, we have animations. Uh, we can do that. We can do that. We can do this. We can do this. We can do that. And then for sounds, pizza. Pizza. 
clog the voice box. And then, last but certainly not least, is Glam Frost Roxanne. I like the white paint on her face as well. Very, very nice. She looks like a, one of them, one of them snow wolves, one of them winter wolves. You know what I mean? We have a sprint. We have a player scan. Uh, it looks like the abilities are going down once you get away from Monty and Glamrock Freddy. Uh, we have for animations, save what is everybody. We have intruder, searching countdown. Uh, uh, we don't have like a really messed up one like the other. Like the other ones had dying in pain, uh, drowned out speech. But then she just has the normal ones, which is kind of weird. They didn't want to give Roxanne Wolf a, a, a very messed up audio. They're cowards, I see. And then we have a screen. And that's it for the Glam Frost animatronics. I still think we have quite... Oh, no. I still think we have quite a few animatronics left. Uh, we have actually three more. Uh, we have the cultist, the clown, and the gingerbread cookie. So let's see what this cultist could do. Oh, look at that. It's a person. Oh, my God. That mask. That is such a detailed mask. Wow. So we can toggle the mask. Oh, no. It's a Robloxman. Put it back on. We have hard mode. Oh, my God. I like the sound of uh, the music that plays. Sounds. We have breathing. We have scream. Why does this human jump scare? That's a little bit shilly. Put it back on. And then you have a knife you could pull out as well that you hold by the blade. And you have a flashlight. Hello, I'm Vanny. It is me. But there you go. There is the Afton Cultist. That is really cool. I like that they added that in. Uh, so there you go. Let's move on to the final two. Oh my god, it's Coils. It's Coils the Clown. Wasn't there some, like, big backstory for Coils? Didn't he become Ennard or something? Unless I'm wrong. I know he becomes someone. Or that's, like, what the theory is. It's been a while since I've delved into it. I'm sorry. Don't yell at me. But here's Coils. I love the way he walks. They got the clown walk just right. That is beautiful. Uh, also, the way his eyes are kind of traveling a little bit. Very nice. Very. He's got a, he's got a clown feel, and I love it. So, we have a sprint or a lunge. What is happening? His feet are doing weird things. We have toggle sad face. Why did it do that? It made him sad. Let's give him some tickets. Will that make you happy, to Coils? No, the tickets didn't make him happy. What about fake ticket? Oh, wait. That's the prank players? That is so funny. That's actually hilarious. You can put tickets down and prank people to pick them up what does it say that's great that's great when you pick it up it just trips you it makes you fall over that's so mean but it's so funny at the same time and then you can toggle your happy face when they do it and make them laugh at them what <laughs> oh what is that why does it sound like that that sounds energy to me. I don't know. I'm just saying. Oh, I don't know what he's supposed to be doing. I'm so excited. But anyway, I think that's more or less all there is for coils. Now, no. Now let's move on to the final new animatronic. Cookie for Kloss. Oh, it's the kids at play sign. I didn't even realize at first. So here's the cookie. I thought that said shut up. I was like, oh man, wow, rude. We can transform into this. Oh my god, it's dead. Also, the texture and the detail on this cookie is wild. Let's uh, bring it back to life. We can give a gift. We can transform. I am a small cookie. Ha <laughs> ha. Wee. I sure hope I don't get eaten. That would be quite sad. Ah, my head. Help me. We have a uh, dead. Oh, we have a crawl. It's just the same as dead, but flip the other way. They're literally the same. For sounds, we have move. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to be moving with it. And then we have Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Yeah, that was a pretty good song. Oh, wait. I got to give a gift. I placed a gift worth five Faz tokens. I'm going to pick it up. Oh, I can't pick it up. I guess that would be kind of cheating. 
Also, I don't think I need any more. But anyway, that is it for all the new characters in this update. As per usual, I probably missed something. As you guys let me know in every update that I missed something somehow. Uh, if I did, I'll check it out in the next update. But it is now time for the OC Creator. So let's go check that out. I think I can do it right here. Yes, I can. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, b blueprint. Uh, uh, new slot. Oh, my God. This is already crazy. Oh, man. There's so much in here. Specials? Oh, no, it's specials. I don't want to see those yet. I don't want to see them. I don't want to see them. I don't want to see them. Oh, here we go. And then you can select, like, the part you want to. You can do eyes. You can do accessories up here. This is it. Look how much easier this is. Wait, this is on the head? Oh, wait, no. I guess it's just uh, accessories, so it could be anywhere. Let's get a... Let's do something festive. Let's make something quick and festive, just to see. So we'll do a candy cane sight. We'll do that. That's good. And then we need a we need a Santa Claus bag right there. Santa bag. And then we need a head, snow globe head. Oh wait, you can double up on parts now. I didn't even realize when I did it, but you could you could. Oh look, you can zoom in. Look at this. All right, so we need some eye. We need some gumdrop eyes. Nutcracker leg. Nutcracker leg, obviously. Come on. Come on. It's obvious. And then we can change the color over here. I keep forgetting to do that. We should make the legs Grinch green. Also, I like the way they changed it as well. Where you don't have to hit like 50 buttons to confirm it. It's just like one button and you're done. Christmas tree. Huh? You guys didn't think about Christmas tree, did you? Christmas tree. So Christmas branch arm yeah i'm a bit of a genius guys i don't know and the infinity gauntlet because christmas will be here to infinity and beyond why are they down there why are the arms down at his bottom also i'm still in the game i'm still here that's crazy so let's go ahead and check out my oc really really quick uh they they said they're not Christmas, man Hey, there's Christmas. I mean, it looks fine. If you don't look at the arms. Made by Lachi. No, this is made by Gallant. What do you mean? But anyway, that's going to be it for this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a longer video. A lot of stuff to check out. Have a very happy Christmas. Have a very happy holiday, no matter what you celebrate. And just have a good day. Thank you so so. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Subscribe, check the bell, all that other good stuff. And follow me on Twitter and Twitch and all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.